All right, we're gonna take a look at another rule of differentiation, and this, this one is called the quotient rule. So you use the quotient rule if a function q of x can be written as f of x over g of x, and you can notice here that if you do do the derivative, g prime of x cannot equal zero. In this case, um, g of x cannot also equal zero, so we should kind of write that in as well. Right, that would basically be a restriction. Now, in this case, um, the derivative of any function that can be written as a quotient of two different functions, q prime of x is equal to the derivative of the numerator f of x, so f prime of x, times g of x, so times the denominator, minus the derivative of the denominator, g of x, g prime of x, times the numerator f of x. And this is all going to be divided over the denominator squared. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys an example of this template. So this is going to be the template that we're going to be using. So make sure you guys copy this down. But I'm going to show you guys how to use this and we'll do a, several examples regarding this. Whoops. Well that just kind of got rid of my box. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to use this template and we're going to use, um, we're going to differentiate this to kind of demonstrate that. Okay, so let's say we want to differentiate y is equal to x to the power 4 divided by x squared minus x plus 1. So in this case, if I want to find the derivative with respect to x, dy over dx, I'm going to first do the derivative of the numerator. So I'm doing the derivative of f of x, so f prime of x, so the derivative of the numerator, x to the power of 4, okay, times the denominator, x squared minus x plus 1, minus the derivative of the denominator, x squared minus x plus 1 times the numerator x to the power of 4 and divide all of this by x squared minus x plus 1 squared. Okay, now what I'm going to do is going to clean this up and I'm going to just find the derivative of each. So the derivative of x to the power of 4 is 4x cubed times x squared minus x plus 1 minus the derivative of this guy um, x squared is basically 2x minus 1 times x to the power of 4. And notice I'm putting brackets, right, because uh, we need to make sure that um, we do this appropriately under the principles of bed mass. You get x squared minus x plus 1 squared. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of expand out these terms and then make it a lot nicer to look at. Right, simplify it out dy over dx. So you can notice here that there, there is a lot of, there is considerable amount of algebra when you're looking at differentiating, so make sure you're okay with the algebra. So this is 4x cubed times x squared, x to the power of 5, minus 4x to the power of 4, plus 4x cubed, minus, um, and I'm just going to expand this guy out first. Okay, so you get 2x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 4 and this is going to give us, I'm just going to work with the numerator for the time being okay? but you can kind of write the denominator out here we don't have to expand the denominator, we'll just leave it the way it is and this basically gives us 4x to the power of 5 minus 4x to the power of 4 plus 4x cubed minus 2x to the power of 5 plus x to the power of uh, 4 Right, I'm going to collect the like terms and collect this guy and this guy. So I'm just going to kind of work with the numerator right now. And I'm going to collect uh, this guy here with this guy. So this is going to give us uh, 2x to the power of 5, negative 4x to the power of 4, plus 4x to the power of 4. Uh, oh, shoot, plus x to the power of 4, sorry. Negative 3x to the power of 4, plus 4x cubed. Okay, so this is what the numerator will look like. And this is our denominator, so you can rewrite this guy. dy over dx is equal to, and what you could do here is you could ex, um, you could expand out, sorry, you could factor out the x cubed. You get 2x uh, squared minus 3x plus 4. And this is over um, x squared plus x plus 1 squared. Okay, You might always, always want to check to see if you could factor the inside of this. Uh, in this case you really can't, but 
Um, it's, in some cases, it will help you simplify it a lot easier. And this is basically your derivative, okay, dy over dx. Okay, so we'll look at a few more questions regarding the quotient rule.